Welcome back to 3R Ballistics. And today's outcast science experiment is all about bulletproof or bullet resistant glass. So I also want to start by saying excuse any of the noises here at the shop. There's lots of uh, construction and movement going on. So what we have are three samples of homemade bulletproof or bullet resistant glass uh, that, I, that we're going to test out today. The first one is made using only materials found at Home Depot. That means 100% of everything you see was purchased over there and put together. And I may break this video up into two parts because I want to show you what it took to put that plate together. Plus a little preview of how I did the other two plates as well. Uh, the second is about a half and half plate. Half of it was purchased at Home Depot. The other half you can find that stuff online. Um, and the third one, I use materials I believe to be better suited for this type of build. And again, most of those could be found online. So the let's talk about the materials I use. Basically the main materials in commercially available bulletproof glass are soda lime glass and either a interlayer of PVB, TPU, some type of polyurethane, and a little bit of polycarbonate on the ends. And that is basically what we'll be using in this build. Some soda lime glass, some polycarbonate, and adhesive to hold it together. Much like commercially available bullet resistant glass, we'll be building in layers. And using the glass, which is this right here, using the glass, that'll break up the projectile and the polycarbonate will be using to prevent spall. Now, spall is basically what's left after it's been broken up. Now, typically inside, uh, commercially available ones will use PVB or TPU or some type of polyurethane or vinyl to bond in an autoclave or something like that, the glass to glass and the glass to polycarbonate. However, those are a little hard to obtain, so we'll be using a clear construction adhesive and a clear double-sided tape. And the tape will add the majority of the adhesion. Okay, that being said, each of these plates uses slightly better materials as we continue on. And I believe each one is a little bit stronger also. Uh, as you can see, the complete Home Depot um, one right here still has the haze and a few bubbles in it, but you can see that. Um, this is the next one, which we'll call half and half. Again, much more clear, um, but still not quite the quality of the last one. This one is basically just pure see-through so I also think this one will take the most abuse so let's go ahead and dive into this Home Depot build I'll show you step by step how I did that give you a few pointers on the other plates that I did and part two we'll take them out to the range so starting with the glass from Home Depot I went ahead and added the double-sided tape this you can see is the Gorilla brand I also used the 3M brand, um, it was just what was available there. And I put it on three corners and uh, put all the glass together, I just stuck it together with hand pressure. It's thin glass, 3 30 seconds of an inch, so don't want to press it too tight or you might break it. So what that does is it leaves a little gap, a very small gap, between the two panes of glass. I use a regular Ziploc bag and I will cut the bottom of the bag with scissors that work. And um, let me speed this up. And so now you have an opening at the bottom and a, a resealable top. Uh, now we go ahead and get the construction adhesive and mineral spirits. And here you can see I used two ounces of adhesive and half an ounce of mineral spirits. The mineral spirits is used to thin out the construction adhesive and it does take a bit of mixing. So let me go ahead and speed this up for you and you'll get to see what the consistency, it does add bubbles, which um, you'll see right here. There's quite a bit of entrapped bubbles, but the consistency is much thinner. So from here, what we're gonna do is take some regular blue painting tape 
and we're gonna tape off the edges and um, kind of create a funnel for lack of a better word we want to keep any spilled material off the glass but we will actually use this area to fill here shortly now what I'm gonna do is I will get the Ziploc bag and kind of wiggle its way in between that little gap that I mentioned before from here we want to go ahead and open up the top of the Ziploc bag and we will simply add some of the uh, construction adhesive and um, mineral spirit mix we want to seal up the top and now all we do is we roll the top and even though there's some air that's going to be entrapped in this we're not going to worry about that yet there's a way to get that out and we're just going to squeeze from the top so we make sure and push that all the way to the bottom we're going to add more material until it just squeezes right into the in between the two panes of glass so just continue pushing till everything's out of there and now that we're pretty much to the top with the adhe uh, adhesive we want to go ahead and take the bag out now what that's going to do is leave a void as you can see and along with the void there's going to be a lot of bubbles that are entrapped within the two panes of glass and we've come up with a little unique way of kind of getting those bubbles to surface to the top we take this thin wire and the bubbles just seem to follow straight to the top so you kind of uh, create an air path for that bubble to go and this is a little bit of time consuming so let me speed this up and get those to the top we'll also put the tape back up and use that funnel now as you can see we're pouring a little bit more adhesive getting the last of those bubbles from in between the two panes of glass and with a little bit more work it's just about done and now with most of the bubbles gone as you can see right here we're gonna go on and connect glass to polycarbonate and we basically repeat this step seven more times as you can see I'm using a smaller bag because I'm going from the top hoping that this is different but I do want you to note that with this method it will haze a little bit because of the mineral spirits and it never fully cures because it can't get all the air inside of it so we still have that sticky layer but let me show you an alternative this is one of the other plates right here so I am actually using VHB tape on the edges it's a thinner tape and a very high bond is what VHB and I'm going to be using abrasion resistant polycarbonate on this next plate the other big difference is I'm using a 3 8 thick piece of glass and what I'm using for this goes in much quicker it's a UV resin this pushes in very easily very quickly it allows you to work the bubbles out not worry about any curing until you're ready and then when you're ready to cure it you just pull out the good old UV light you set it on the plate for five ten minutes and it is done this is the resin that I used let's resin UV resin it dries crystal clear it provides a good bond although we have the bonding tape on the outside and here you can see the difference that is the Home Depot plate this is the UV resin plate there is a big clarity improvement when you're using UV, UV resin now again both of these measure under one inch this is seven layers from Home Depot this is also exactly the same thickness but we only have four layers so let me know do you think the seven layers of it's basically three layers of glass and four layers of polycarbonate from Home Depot is gonna hold up as well as the other plates now I didn't talk too much about the half and half plate which is this one right here this one still has the three thin layers of glass but then it has a half inch piece of polycarbonate in the middle and small eighth inch pieces of polycarbonate on the outside 
and and then a film on the very front in front of the glass and lastly this one I believe is just four layers it's got the 3 8 piece of glass it has the half inch piece of polycarbonate and then the two smaller pieces of polycarbonate on the outside so let me know what you think are these gonna stop anything at all nine millimeter 357 any of them can stop 44 leave a comment and look for the results in the next couple of days and until then